In this video, I'm going to show you how to obtain an EID, or electronic identification, that's used at UT and used with Quest. And this is going to be the first thing that you need to do before you're allowed to even log into Quest. It doesn't matter if you're a student or an instructor, you're going to have to get one of these. So let's walk through it. It's actually a really easy process. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the web page. So in order to get to the EID uh, system to obtain one, you have to go to www.utexas.edu slash EID. And when you do that, the URL will change. If you're actually coming through Quest, uh, get, get Quest, uh, it might have you uh, click on a link to get here. Anyway, you're going to end up here. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a UTEID. And really, it's going to be about four or five pages to go through, just some basic information, nothing too tricky. However, you want to read each one carefully. Some people actually have an EID before they uh, get here, may have had one in the past, so it's going to ask you some questions. So we're going to continue on. Have we ever worked at the university before? Are we a parent or a child? Have you ever taken a class at UT? And have you ever worked at... Um, at UT. So chances are if you're an external user obtaining an EID for the first time, none of these will apply to you. So you can continue. You're going to get a EID um, by entering in your name. So I'm going to put in some generic stuff on here. Um, it's going to have me set a date of birth. I'm going to set it for, well, let's set it for to, uh, today's date, um, and let's do it in 1980, just so we have it um, old enough. One thing you're going to want to try to fill in is if you have an uh, email address, you're going to want to put it in in these two spots. Quest has the ability to send out announcements in the form of emails to you uh, from an instructor to their students. Both of them require to have EI, or email addresses attached to your EID for this to work. So go ahead, fill this in right now. All right, we're going to continue on. Uh, we're going to ask a couple questions. Um, this is just a sample one. You can put in uh, whatever questions that you want. I think, oh, I actually have to put in all three of them. What is my mother's maiden name? Um, I'm going to put in Washington because of our first president. Um, and what was my favorite sport as a teenager? And I get to choose from, from one. And archery seems like the first one that comes up. So put in a couple uh, answers to the security questions. This will help you get an EID or your password back if you forget it. We're going to put our password in. The password's a little bit tricky. Uh, it asks for characters between certain lengths. I'm going to do ADG1 JLO. Uh, actually, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to just type in something. And at this point, we have, um, we're about to create it. We're going to go through, make sure that everything's correct, and we're going to create an EID. And at this point, it gives us our EID. So this is the eventual piece of data you're going to need. This is something you're going to want to save, and this will tell you, this will be your personal EID that you'll use in Quest. And it's attached to your name, it's attached to your email address, and everything should work out great using this EID. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.